Hi guys, so I want to show you a clip from a report from Channel 4 News into poverty surrounding the pandemic. And you're going to see a heartbreaking story of a woman who was forced to live on £67 for six weeks. Not £67 per week, £67 for six weeks. Now this is not by accident, this is by design. Someone is responsible for all of this and I'm going to show you in a moment who it is. But let's see the story. Thompson is making his own food drop to a woman who's been flagged by the local community as someone who is in desperate need. How are we doing, Carol? You all right? <laughs> Where'd you like the food, darling? Parcel should last you a few days or so. All right, if you need anything else, just give us a call, all right? Carol Shambrook's father died of cancer during lockdown. Her benefits, which went into a joint account, were frozen in probate. Exactly the sort of life event which can tip the already poor into destitution. How is that possible? How is it that someone who's probably been forced to have a joint account because she's afraid, you know, it's, it's expensive to actually have a bank account. In some, I don't know what it, the situation is where she lives, but in, in some places you have to pay for a bank account. And anyway, they had a joint bank account and her benefits were frozen as well. Why is that the case? I understand somebody has died, but surely the next of kin should have access to that bank account. This is, you know, it's not someone who's a millionaire. It's not somebody who has, you know, a huge amount of money. This is a person living on benefits. They need those benefits. If they don't have those benefits, they risk everything. Just tell me how much money you had over that period and for how long? £67 for six weeks and that went on um, electric and everything else being supplied by Brad. £67 for six weeks? Yeah, they brought us clothes, a coat. I didn't have a coat and um, I didn't go out. I used to sit here with a cardigan on. I don't bake. I don't cook anymore and I'm absolutely paranoid about checking the electric. You've got this tiny heater. Yeah. And that's all you've got. That's all I've got. And poverty's so extreme, she can't even afford to accept all the charity on offer. Brad was going to get me a cooker, but I told him to give it to another family because I can't afford to use it. And for Cal so she, she can't afford to use a cooker because she doesn't have the money for the electricity. So the charity were going to give her the means to cook, but she had to say no because she said, it's too expensive for me. I don't have the money to pay the electricity bill. £67 for six weeks. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is not an accident. This is by design. Now, who is responsible for this? Well, Ian Duncan Smith was the one who introduced Universal Credit. Ian Duncan Smith was the architect of, of Universal Credit, which has forced hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people into poverty. Now, this is not so much a question, a topic about Ian Duncan Smith forcing people into uh, poverty. This is about Ian Duncan Smith being a piece of crap. Now, Ian Duncan Smith earns a lot of money as, a, as an MP. He's a former leader of the Conservative Party. But on the side, I want to show you this information once again from this fantastic website, They Work For You. They have here um, information about money that politicians receive external to their salary from the House of Commons. So politicians receive a salary from the state, but they also get other money on the side. And this is just from this year, this month, actually. You can see here, um, 25th of November, so last month, he received £500 for an article published on the 18th of October, 2020. Hours worked, <laughs> four, hour, four hours worked. And he received £500 for that. Now, on the pink side, you can see it's 2019. On the 12th of November, £400 for an article. On the 3rd of December, £500 for an article. On the 18th of November, £250, £250, £250, £250, £250, £250, £250, 
500, 200, 250, 300, 500 pounds for an article published on the 8th of March for four hours. Uh, there's another one here, 1350 for two articles. Now, probably to the Express or to the Telegraph, a pro Tory newspaper. So he's getting paid to publish propaganda for the Conservative Party. £400, £180, £250, £200, £500, £1,350 again, and it goes on and on and on. And the, this side is uh, from 2019. So he's pumping out articles almost every day and getting paid hundreds of pounds for it. And this lady has to live on £67 for six weeks. Now, Ian Duncan Smith is one individual. Of course, he's, he's not the only one responsible. Boris Johnson himself. Now, Boris Johnson has recently been very sad and depressed that he had to live on only £150,000 a year. You know, his Prime Minister's salary is just £150,000 a year, and he's quite sad about that. But don't worry, Boris won't be living under a bridge because... This website, once again, provides information that Boris Johnson, what, you know, income that Boris Johnson receives on the side. So on the 28th of October 2020, he received 2,406 and 12 pence for royalties on book already written, on books already written. So no additional hours. So Boris Johnson has written some books in the past and now he's receiving royalties for them. 2,400 pounds for royalties. Uh, 6,000 in September for royalties. Now, there are also money that Boris Johnson gets via the party, private donations, for example. So if we look here, we have David Leathers, private, amount of donation or nature of value of donation in kind, £5,000. Donor status, individual. So David Leathers, whoever he is, donated £5,000 to the Conservative Party, but because it it goes directly to Boris Johnson. It's probably through the party to Boris Johnson. Because, you know, it's it's more legal in a sense to give donations directly uh, to the party, sorry, indirectly to the politician via the party. Um, what else have we got here? £1,000 for royalties once again. We go down. This is all 2019. You can see uh, £5,000, £5,000, £100,000. Hmm. Twenty thousand pounds. Eight thousand pounds. Excavators. JCB. Eight thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds. Ten thousand pounds. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Gifts, benefits, and hospitality UK sources. Twelve thousand pounds. <laughs> So a hotel gave Boris Johnson 12,000. The amount of donation, this is in uh, 2019, or nature of the donation event, with an estimated total value of 12,000 pounds following the election of the leader of the Conservative Party. Okay, so he received some money for that. 15,000 pounds. So Boris Johnson crying that he's only able to survive on 150,000 pounds a year and this, Ian Duncan Smith, who's forced hundreds of thousands of people into universal credit, where they have, in some cases, have to survive on less than £90 a week, receiving £500 for four hours of quote-unquote work. And this lady here, who had to survive on £67 for six weeks. I've said before, this is not an accident. This is by design. These people are responsible for all of this. These people have forced people into poverty, have forced the poor who are already poor into deeper poverty. And as I said before, they will be perfectly fine. They will not be affected by austerity or any type of cuts 
to benefits. The solution would be to picket them, to picket their office, to force them into changing their attitude to the poor. But unfortunately, I don't think that would be sufficient. This is a depressing story. This is a very sad story, but it needs to be explained. It needs to be called out. It needs to be highlighted because it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable that someone like Ian Duncan Smith is able to live off private donations, basically, for writing articles about how great the Conservative Party is, how great Brexit is, how, mu how much it's going to help people when the opposite is true. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.